hey, before I get into this, tonight at 9 p.m., myself and Run It Back Queen will be on Playback TV playing Call of Duty, bro. Community Call of Duty. We're going to let subscribers join the game. If you want to join the game, you're going to be in the chat. You can drop your gamer tag. We can add you to the game. We're going to be doing Community Call of Duty on Playback TV tonight. We're not talking Sixers. We don't want to talk Sixers. We're playing Community Call of Duty tonight on Playback TV. Me, Running Back Queen. Playback.tv slash Running Back Philly. Be there. Run it back, Philly. No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. Something we gotta talk about, something we gotta talk about. Oh man, I gotta put my seatbelt on. Or it's just going to ding the whole video. Thank you, Jeep, for saving my life. All right, listen, man. Um, I haven't been talking about Doc Rivers when it comes to the Philadelphia 76ers for a while because I think he's been coaching fine. Fine. And I've said this a couple times, but I think he's been doing the obvious thing. Uh, he's been making the obvious decisions. Play Paul Reed. Play more athletic players. Uh, you know, don't go P.J. Tucker at center in the middle of a game. Uh, play Jalen McDaniels. Play Daniel House. Play the Black Air Force lineup. You know what I mean? But game six confused me. Because I started to see in game six something I haven't seen the series yet. And I started asking myself why... Is this happening? And one of the main things that I saw was more minutes for Tobias Harris, less minutes for Daniel House Jr. Jalen McDaniels has become completely a DNP. Paul Reed played six minutes in game six. So it's just confusing me. I don't think I'm going to get back to this, like, fire Glenn rampage that I was on because at the end of the day, if Doc plays Daniel House a couple more minutes than George Niang, do the Sixers still lose that game? Probably. But I'm just confused. So I went back to game five, and I looked at how you won game five. And you had 15 minutes from Daniel House Jr., seven minutes from George Niang. Now, which one of those players can play defense in the NBA? Hint, the answer is Daniel House Jr. You had 30 minutes from Tobias Harris in game five. All of a sudden, in game six, after you just won two games in a row, you go to game six, and Doc Rivers goes back to his his love for George Niang. Daniel House Jr. comes in the game in the second quarter, plays good defense, even hits a three in the corner, and Doc takes him out of the game and never brings him back. George Niang, as soon as he came in the game, and some, some people already came at me, why are you talking about George? He's the only one that can make a shot. I'm talking about the defensive end of the ball, bro. Defensive end of the ball. As soon as this dude comes in the game, he gets stuck on Jalen Brown, and the Sixers have to bring a double to help him out, leaving Derek White wide open, Brandon uh, uh, Malcolm Brogdon wide open. You know what I mean? And Doc just leaves it. He loves George Niang, bro. It's his new fur con cork maz. And it's, it's basically, if he doesn't revert back to what he did in game five, it's going to kill the Sixers. So he won game four and five. By playing more athletic players, players that can defend. And then game six, Daniel House hardly plays. George Niang gets double the minutes. Tobias Harris goes from 30 minutes in game five to 41 minutes in game six. Puts up two points in 41 minutes. And Paul Reed played six minutes in the game. 
So I, I just – and what the hell happened to Jalen McDaniels? Do I think Jalen McDaniels is going to change the game drastically? Probably not. Does he offer you more than a guy like George Niang? 100% yes, he does. And then the Tobias Harris thing is just blowing my mind. Because this guy is – I told you guys after the after the Brooklyn Nets series, I said I'm not sending this guy an apology letter because he played good against a non-playoff team. We'll see what he does against the Celtics. Well, here we are. Two points in 41 minutes. My question is, at what point do you adjust? You just played a guy for 41 minutes who was giving you absolutely nothing on the offensive end. Was he playing good defense? Yes. But, I mean, we're talking about Ben Simmons at this point. If you're saying, well, at least he played good defense. At least he was the only one out there playing. Dude, you got to score to win the damn game. We scored 86 points in a basketball game in 2023. You got two points from Tobias Harris in 41 minutes. So my question is, at what point do you start cutting this guy's minutes if he's out there giving you absolutely nothing? I just wanted to say that. I'm not going to go on a, a new Doc, Fire Doc Rivers tour or anything like that because I, ultimately I don't think these things make a massive difference. If the, if the Sixers lose this series, I think the main reason is the roster's just not good enough. It's not athletic enough. There's too many old slow guys on bad contracts. But I'm just confused how you won game five and then game six you went, you reverted. You reverted back. Game seven, he's got to change it up again, dude. He has to go Jalen McDaniels. He has to go Daniel House Jr. He has to go more Paul Reed. He has to go less Tobias Harris, less George Niang, less P.J. Tucker. He's back to – Doc is back to playing all the old, unathletic guys and losing the game. I just wanted to come on here and say that, man. Hit the like button or something, bro. We out.